For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. I'm reporting on two different updates today. There was an update yesterday that a lot of, not a lot of people really saw because it was kind of small, but it was very important because it fixed one of the most annoying things in the game uh, that came recently over the last patch. Uh, we also had a player ratings update today, so I'm going to go over both of these things today. But as always, if you guys want to see more, make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button in the comment section as I try to do a video like this every single week or every single time there's a big update. I want to let you guys know what changed, and this is a pretty big one. So the patch that came out, the uh, title update 3.1, was to a lot of people maybe a small fix uh, basically the last large patch that came out they really messed up the kicking meter and if you've had this happen to you you know how annoying it is where the kicking meter is blocked by the option to squib kick and all kind of stuff or different types of kicks is right over the um, you know the, the the target on the meter so that kind of you know was was seriously annoying it doesn't happen all the time but it happens enough that you're basically kicking blind I mean I did an entire gameplay where I was giving my opponent the ball at like the 40 yard line every single time because I couldn't see the kick meter and every time I kicked the ball it just it, he just got an incredible field position because of it either it was you know just just any number of things so they fixed that that's gone another thing that they're looking into but they didn't actually address is the amount of drops and I was just playing a game and my opponent had at least three or four drops and it was because of the receiver himself uh, was catching the ball the computer receiver was catching the ball not the person so that to me has never been an issue i don't have drops because i always use or catch so if you're having problems catching the ball if your computer uh target is dropping the ball a lot that's something where i think they just have to tune the frequency i mean they do that so that it's close to a real game because in real life computer you know people drop balls all the time it happens so that's why it happens in the game but it's like they kind of just have to tune the frequency of that and tune that down a little bit so that's a little less frequent but if you're having that problem just catch the ball yourself i don't have that problem at all and it's because i'm in the habit of always catching the ball myself so never let the computer do those things now that's pretty much it for the update i'm going to go ahead and move on from there i'm going to talk about player ratings changes uh there were some roster updates as well with Julio Jones, and I think there was another trade. I know Julio Jones to the Eagles uh, was probably the, the biggest uh, one, although there was another one. I forget the um, the trade. I know the Niners traded for um, the guy from the Dolphins. Uh, they used to for Randy Gregory. There was a couple of player movements that should be in the game now, uh, but other than that, let's just go and let's get right into um, the player ratings changes. Now, there wasn't a lot of bang for, uh, for their buck when it comes to like high-profile player ratings changes this week i'm still pushing for tj watt to be higher rated but this week it seemed really difficult to get a player ratings boost uh the highest rated player that actually got a player ratings boost this week was was quinnon williams which you know that i mean he had an interception and i know he played good and they knocked off the the eagles but it's still kind of weird to see i don't remember him you know other than that interception it was kind of fluky i don't really remember remember him making a huge impact when i was watching the game so uh, but he's a great player, nevertheless. I mean, I, I totally agree with him being rated higher uh, because he is one of the best defensive tackles in the game. All the way up to a 95 now. Uh, A.J. Brown, also, same game, went up a point. He's up to 94. He's got four straight games where he had 125-plus uh, yards. So that's probably why. I remember when he when the Madden ratings first came out, it was a joke that he was only rated a 91. Everybody was like, how is this? And he's already a 94, only six weeks into the season. So clearly, the people that were complaining about his drop rating were correct. Jair Alexander went down a point. He's down, down to a 93. Not really sure what happened there. Must have had a bad week. Um, you know, I don't necessarily watch every game, every player that closely. Justin Tucker plus one. This guy should be a 99. What does Justin Tucker have to do to be a, 90, a 99? Like every year I have this when I do these videos. Like he's one of the greatest kickers ever. He has one of the longest kicks in NFL history. He's one of the highest, you know, accuracy ratings in NFL history. I mean, what more do you need to be? He's a clutch kicker. He hits game winners. What more do you have to do? Him and TJ Watt are probably my two biggest issues when it comes to the Madden ratings week to week. Is that they, to me, they're both in the 99 realm and they just don't get it and i'm not a fan of either one of their teams i'm an eagles fan uh lamar jackson up a point to 92 he's been i think he's kind of yo-yoed all year lamar uh, marshawn Lattimore also yo-yoing all year he's down a point to a 92 don't really understand that um i i just feel like they're too reactionary sometimes amari cooper had a monster game 
against the Niners. So it's not surprising at all to see him up a point to 91 as they got that upset. Uh, as you're seeing kind of a trend here, it seems like the teams that got upsets are getting the most uh, movement. Uh, Joe Thune, not sure if it's Thune or Tooney, I'm not really sure, but he's up two points. So he must have did something crazy as an offensive lineman for the, for the Chiefs this last week. Uh, Josh Jacobs down a point. He, him and Joe Burrow both down a point to 91s. Two guys that have dropped consistently like every week. Like Burrow started the year to 95. He's down to 91. Negative four points for a superstar like Joe Burrow. Once again, feels a little reactionary um, because it's like, does anybody really question how good Joe Burrow is? Like we all know he's good, right? Josh Jacobs is a different story though. I know every time, watching the Rays in the primetime games that they've had this year, every time he gets the ball, there's somebody in his face uh, right away. So it's like part of it is the line is not blocking for him, but a big part of it is he, he had such a heavy workload last year that I wouldn't be surprised if he just lost a step. That's why people don't pay running backs because you see that decline so quickly from heavy workloads where guys are just not as fast anymore. They're just not as athletic as they used to be. So I feel like it's a little bit of both for that guy um, as I doubt he'll ever see that same, that same type of level that he saw last year as a player. Mike Evans down a point to a 90, back where he started for the last 10 years. You know what I'm saying? He went up a point to a 91, and EA had to mess that up and put him right back to a 90, which he will remain for the next 10 years. 20 straight years of 1,000-yard seasons for Mike Evans and 20 straight years of a 90 overall rating in Madden. I'm calling it right now. TJ Hawkinson, up or down a point, sorry, down a point uh, to a 90. Not sure what happened there. I'm pretty sure he's one of the league leaders as far as tight ends you know, in the game, but I really don't know. Um, as he had to be, and with Justin Jefferson not playing last week, he had to be double teamed every play. I mean, that's got to be the best target on the field at that point. Amon, Amon Roth, say Brown, got a, two, a plus two. I think he had another big game. Uh, obviously a good player. Uh, he's almost to a 90. I mean, that's probably he'll probably be the first 90 overall rated player for, uh, for I mean, I, I would think at some point that um, the defensive line uh, should have somebody as well, but I'll get to him in a minute. I'm sure that he went up in a, a point or down a point as well. Justin Herbert down a point to a 89. Uh, he did play one of the best pass defenses in the league last week, but let's be honest. I mean, he just he just never gets it done in crunch time. Like he had an opportunity during the, the game and he blew it, uh, which is kind of the the you know that's kind of the story. And I've been saying this for years in these videos that I'm just not a Justin Herbert guy. I'm a wins loss guy. And he has, I think, more losses than wins. So that's what he is to me. He's a loser. He also had more losses, in, in I think, in college and in high school. I saw somewhere. I don't know if it's accurate. But somewhere I saw that he has a career losing record in, in all three stages of professional, well, not professional, but high school, college, and professional sports. So there are just, there's just something about that guy. He's a great player, but he just doesn't get it done at crunch time. And I think Chargers are seeing that. As he, you know, last year he led a huge comeback in the playoffs. That was ridiculous. Trey Hendrickson up a point to an 89. Uh, DK Metcalf down a point to an 88. Jeffrey Simmons down a point to an 88. Um, a lot of these guys I know are really good players. It's, it's just always weird to see them dropping or just moving at all. Uh, Panay Sewell, who I saw a video not too long ago saying that he might be the best right time. I mean, obviously Lane Johnson is. But Panay Sewell is getting up there, is my point. It's like he should be at some point considered one of the best tackles in football and he was thought that coming out in college anyway i mean everybody knew he was going to be a stud uh as the as the lions real key to their success is their trenches just like the eagles it's it's all about the trenches they both have great trenches offensive line defensive line that's why they're, they're successful travis atn having a good year he's up to an 88 tua up to an 88 um as he's he should be i mean he's the, he should be way higher at this point i mean he's the league leader in passing yards CJ Mosley up a point to an 87. Like I said, a lot of Jets players getting bumps after knocking off my birds. Uh, Christian Darisol up a point to an 87. As I'm trying to get through this a little bit quicker now, Jalen Hurts down a point. That was what, that's kind of what I was waiting to see. I know he had a negative. Uh, you know, he had three interceptions. I think he had seven on the year. Turnovers are definitely an issue. Not surprised to see him go down. I was kind of expecting that, but it still hurts to see it. Uh, no pun intended there. Moving on, Tony Pollard down a point. Now that I agree with. He doesn't look like the same guy as the um, as the face of the running system in Dallas. Like they're missing Ezekiel Elliott. Cowboys fans know this, especially around the goal line. That guy was really money when it came to um, you know red zone, and they just they're just missing that pounding back. He's a really good Tony Pollard's like a really good complimentary back, but as as a full time back, I'm just not sure. I'm not seeing it. So he's down a point to an 87. Uh, Calvin Ridley down or up a point to an A6, which he should be a lot higher by now. I know he was suspended for a year. I think they probably dropped his rating in that time. 
Aiden Hutchinson, not up a point. That's who I was talking about earlier. I was expecting him to be up a point. That guy's having a monster year. Dak Prescott, up a point to an 86. I had no idea he dropped to an 85. But once again, to me, I don't care what the stats are. I know the difference. Dak Prescott and, and, and Jalen Hurts are not one point apart. They're not that close. Jalen Hurts is much better. So, yeah, they dropped Hurts. Not doing that great right now, but I'm not buying that. I still think he's a he's a top. You know, he's in my opinion, Hurts is still like a 90 overall player, but I might be biased. Devontae Smith down two points. Now this is a little surprising. I think he's injured right now with a hamstring injury. I don't even know if he's going to play this weekend, but down two points. I know he hasn't really been playing too great lately, but AJ Brown's been the the target monster. So what are you going to do? So you know what I mean? Like they can't have enough targets for everybody. Aaron Rodgers down another point. Guy's not even fucking playing. This is the second time he's gone down a point not playing. I mean, seriously, like, does EA just fucking hate Aaron Rodgers? Uh, because he went up a point, he went down a point after injury, then up a point, then back down a point. Like, what is he doing on injured reserve right now that he's he's fluctuating in points? I saw an article today, too, by the way, that suggests that Aaron Rodgers might actually be back by, like, week 15, which would be, like, fucking incredible if they're still in the playoff race at that point. Because there's so many great... Um, you know, AFC teams, it's, it's not going to be easy if they're continuously 3-3, three and three, win one, lose one. Can they still be in a playoff, you know, race for Aaron Rodgers whenever he gets back? That would be amazing. I want to I want to see that. I want to see Aaron Rodgers in, in New York. It's like we all did as fans of football. Jabril Peppers up a point to an 85. Um, this next one I don't understand. Khalil Mack up a point to an 85. He had f- six sacks in one game a couple a couple what two weeks ago. How's he only up? How's he only in eighty five? So I mean I don't know. I feel like he's he's Khalil Mack. We all know the name. I'm um, gonna him end it there because I don't want to get too much lower as we have a couple more guys and I know this video is running a little bit long. But if you guys want me to continue this video though, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.